Northerners are holding this country backward. Their leaders are only interested in stealing our money and taking it to Dubai, Morocco, Egypt, etc. They are visionless. I mean, look at their region. From terrorism, drugs, overpopulation with illiteracy, and all kinds of diseases. They should just go away, please. Anytime a Northerner is not the president of Nigeria, all their leaders, all their imams, and the rest of them will be crying wolf because they don't have somebody from their place as the leader of Nigeria. But they are forgetting so quickly that their brother was there for eight years. What did he do? What did Buhari do for you Northerners? Only one year with the Saturday, you are agitating that you want to leave Nigeria. Please, you can go. And uh, this Professor Sani Luga, let me tell you for free. The amalgamation of the Northern Protectorate and the Southern Protectorate done by Lord Lugard in 1914 terminated in 2014 because the amalgamation was for 100 years. So, my professor, Nigeria is not existing anymore. So, there is no need for the northern region to prepare for possible separation from the country. It is just a matter of time and it will be to your tent, O Israel. You can see the serious agitation for separate regions in the southwest and the southeast. Just yesterday, the southwest sent Sunday Igboho to London to submit a petition to Kai Stammer, the United Kingdom Prime Minister, for the creation of Yoruba nation. Earlier, the southeast had been involved in self-determination for a separate state of Biafra and you not is still contemplating separating from Nigeria <laughs> when I go carry last when I never see anything when I go carry last even now when I contemplate how do you think you will, you will survive if you separate you have the land Strangers are cultivating it to feed you. You have the population <laughs> only for good, only good for a head count to, to, to win election. That's what you people. <laughs> My God. Education is free for you, but you never accepted it. Amenities are provided for you free, but you prefer to live in the bush with your cows. How can you survive? Is it this time that the North will start preparing for exit? What happened during the last eight years? Their son, Buhari, was in power. Some of these men are just hypocrites of the highest level. Good day, my distinguished viewers. And welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice. Your trusted media platform for breaking news in politics and business current affairs, analysis, opinions, headlines, sports, entertainment, and so much more. With a comprehensive, up-to-date news coverage, aggregated from sources all over the world and every corner of the globe. As our sources of information are reliable and accurate, that's why we are the world-leading liberal voices 
for the everyday people in Nigeria. I want to thank you all for staying tuned. But before I go further, if this is the first time of coming across our channel, please help us subscribe, like, and share our videos. Professor Sonny Abubakar Luga, the fifth Waziri Kastina, has urged the northern region of Nigeria to prepare for possible separation from the country. During a community engagement event organized by the Coalition of Northern Group in Kastina, as reported by our correspondence. Professor Luga underlined the importance of unity among Northerners, comparing it to the southern region's push for self-determination and warned that the North must be ready for the future where Nigeria might break apart, especially given ongoing secessionist movements in the South. The professor criticized the North's lack of organized action in defending its interests and pointed to certain initiatives such as the Regional Security Network, Ametoku, as an example of proactive measures, noting that, not noting that while the South faces fewer security problems, it has taken more steps to protect itself than the North. Luga also reflected on the fragile union between Nigeria's Northern and Southern region and stated that early Nigerian leaders were concerned about uniting the two regions and those concerns remain relevant today, warning that if the South eventually separates, the North might struggle to stand on its own unless it begins preparation now. The North deliberately refuse to prepare themselves for possible separation because she was carried away by the control of all the resources of Nigeria for several decades and thinking that it will continue to be so forever. It is like they just woke up lately to discover that the Southwest and the Southeast have almost completed their own separation bid. The North saw how the Southwest sent his son, Sunday Ugbo, to London a few days ago to submit a petition to Stammer, the UK Prime Minister, to help her separate from Nigeria. The Southeast have been working towards separation through the establishment of the IPOP headed by Nam Kanu for several years. The North is no more in power and this is why it has suddenly discovered these lapses on the side. Sorry you. Sorry you, Mr. North. <laughs> My country people, when I see what they have for this country, there was a country called Nigeria. <laughs> I think it's better we part ways. Start the process. It is not just by mere propaganda. You guys should start something that is worth seeing. Do you understand? The Northerners, because they are not in power, they are doing all this. To me, instead of a national to rule again, let Tinubu continue. I'm telling you. So, as it stands, the Northerners are ready to go. They are ready to go. So, let's bid them farewell as they pack their bag and baggages out of Nigeria. But I know the problem with the North is that since independence, all the leaders from the North have been too selfish. They think only of themselves. My country people, 
our comment section they open. You could have choked my put for this matter with the grass. So, you see, also this matter with the grass. So, I want me to talk about them very well for the comment section because the northern leaders should drop the idea of the Islamic domination of others. Me, to me, we are better together than separation. I don't know if you understand me. We are better together than separation. But well, they should drop that is idea of Islamic domination. That's one big problem we get. I will see you now again.